I just got a text message. We made this order four days ago and we're no longer in town. Oh, that is hilarious. This order has been sitting there for four days. Now what do I do? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. You know, I'm in uh, beautiful Mammoth, California. We're out here doing some fishing, doing some camping. Oh, well, roadie is not an option. Um, I know for sure I can't do Spark. Uh, oh, Instacart. Let's see if Instacart. Let's see if they got Instacart options outside. I'm trying to remember if I had to, I don't think I had to select a city. Let's see if I can go online with Instacart. I can do Instacart and DoorDash. I have, I have not done Instacart out of state before. Look at Instacart just popped up. Mammoth Lakes, Vaughn's, not a bad deal. Actually really good. And it's been sitting here for a while. So that tells me that there's not a lot of Instacarters right now on Friday uh, early afternoon in Mammoth because that's $17 for 1.4 miles. $10 tip on it. And uh, hi, I'm over here. <laughs> I, didn't want, I was too lazy to move my phone. Um, and it's 11 items. And the Vaughn's is right down the street from me. So if I was actually trying to do a little bit to earn some money, I would have jumped all over that because that would probably only take 20 minutes um, and then deliver 1.4 miles. And it's been sitting here for 10 minutes. Nobody's grabbed it. And that's a great offer. DoorDash is still grayed out. Can't do DoorDash till 11.30. But, you know, you can earn money while you're on vacation if you needed to. All right, just switch chairs. I'm in the passenger seat now because I got uh, more room for the laptop. No steering wheel. And it just let me on DoorDash. I scheduled. So now I'm DoorDashing in Mammoth. And then that offer I showed you earlier, that's still sitting there. Nobody's picked it up. It's been a solid half hour, maybe 45 minutes. I must be the only Instacart guy out here. It has not gone up. Normally they'll increase the the price if it sits there this long. You know, if that gets to like 20 bucks, I might just take a quick break and go over and do it. Where are all the Instacart drivers in Mammoth Lakes? This uh, has still been up here. I'm just sitting here working, making some phone calls for some clients. The, they finally raised the, they raised the price. They raised it to 1952. It was 17 and change. So now Instacart is paying, the batch pay is now $9 instead of seven. So Instacart raised it up two bucks. Still sitting there, it's a great offer. Um, part of me, thinks I should just go snag it real quick but I mean I've got other stuff going on here so I'm not gonna go do it right now the only offer I've seen <laughs> so doesn't look like there's a lot of Instacart available in Mammoth Lakes because um, this is the only offer sitting there which is probably why it's sitting there so long because there's probably no Instacart drivers up here if there's not a lot of offers there's probably nobody like sitting here on their phone just waiting so if I get done in a few hours and this thing is still here I might just go grab it just to just because I feel bad for people trying to get their groceries. So probably up here on vacation, just needed a couple items and nobody's picking it up. I'm on DoorDash too and it's uh, noon. I haven't gotten anything, nothing on DoorDash. All right, so super weird. I've never seen this before, but I just finished my work. Uh, did all my client calls I needed to do for today. It is three o'clock. I've been here for about four hours working. This offer has been there the entire time. It's gone up to 25 bucks, maybe three hours ago, and it's been sitting there. So I just got done with my work. I'm leaving anyway. Now I gotta do it. It's been sitting there. The other, and the other thing is, this is the only offer I have seen on Instacart the entire four hours I've been sitting here, and I haven't seen a single offer on DoorDash. So the only thing I can conclude is that there's just no demand here and there's no drivers right I mean you're not gonna be an Instacart driver in living in Mammoth if every time you turn on your app you never get an order so I've, I've never seen this before I mean and I've seen some and this is a great offer and I've seen some horrible offers that people eventually get and I go why would they take that but let's we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna click it here and I'm gonna go ahead and accept it I kept thinking maybe my phone froze, like this offer can't still be there. Like these people ordered, hopefully it wasn't their lunch. It's telling me to head to the store. I mean, this went up to, it's a $10 tip and 
um, Instacart went all the way up to fifteen dollars on the batch pay, and this 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 was originally um, seventeen dollars with the tip because Instacart was offering seven, and the tip was ten. Now it's twenty five with Instacart offering fifteen, and the tip was ten. So even if maybe these people are upset because it took four hours to get their order, I said they take off their tip. I mean, I, the batch pay on it is still 15 and literally, uh, I mean, I'm leaving anyway. Like you saw me just leave the parking lot. Vons is right here. And then I have to deliver it 1.4 miles. I mean, that's a total no brainer. Well, <laughs> I will be very surprised if I actually still get paid for this order. Or not paid, but like with the tip and everything. Like if it's like literally an order that sat there on Instacart for four hours, nobody got, there's like no Instacart drivers in Mammoth. So on one hand you go, hey, that's an opportunity. On the other hand you go, well, <laughs> if there's no drivers, there's probably never any orders. Man, this is one crowded parking lot. A dually is not the most ideal vehicle for shopping. Dude, my truck is totally gonna stick out. These parking spots are not big enough for my truck. Dude, I'm like, I can't even fit here. Like, I'm sticking out in the parking lot. All right, I got the items. Let's go deliver them. Oh, that vase is crazy crowded. Do before 349. Meet the customer. That's interesting, okay. Whoops, don't. I gotta meet the customer now? I wonder if she's gonna be super happy that uh, she placed this order like several hours ago. But, you know, hey, uh, the way I see it, she wouldn't have got her groceries at all if I wasn't in town this weekend because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's any drivers out here. I bet you these people are here on vacation just needed a couple items. Says I gotta meet the customer. I'm sure it's in a condo. So we'll see. We'll see at the end of the day if this is worth 25 bucks. I started my let's see. We're we're 26 minutes into it. So yeah, we'll be right there. DoorDash, sign up to become a dasher. Take your Oh, this is an ad. This is an ad running on Instacart for DoorDash. <laughs> DoorDash, you haven't sent me a single offer in Mammoth. Why would you be, why would DoorDash be running ads for drivers in Mammoth? Uh, not a single offer in five hours. You know, it definitely matters where you're at. But maybe DoorDash is trying to get drivers to sign up before they start making offers. I don't know. You know, what comes first, the chicken or the egg in that scenario? I mean, how do you get drivers if you don't have people ordering? But how are you going to have people ordering if you don't have drivers to deliver? Your customers will just stop doing it. It's all it's like you got to build it at the same time. You got to get drivers and start placing orders. So this is going to be interesting because this customer placed this order at 1030. And normally I'd just say, oh, it's just, you know, drop it off the door, take a photo, you're done. This one says meet the customer. So... Oh, yeah, it's definitely one of these condo deals. Uh, great. So that'll add 10 minutes for me to try to find the damn place. She said they made this order four days ago. <laughs> I just got a text message. We made this order four days ago, and we're no longer in town. Oh, that is hilarious. This order has been sitting there for four days. <laughs> Now what do I do? Oh, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Period. I just came up here on vacation last night. And just for fun, I turned on my delivery app. Period. I will call Instacart support and let them know. Period. That is really crazy that Instacart did not cancel this order, period. They must not have any Instacart drivers at all in Mammoth. 
period. I'm sorry about the hassle. They're probably going to ask me to go return all this stuff to the store. So am I going to now not get my tip too? Dude, this, this is... Okay, this is on Instacart. The customer placed this order four days ago. I'm sitting here thinking they're going to be upset because I'm three hours... I, you know, I accepted the order three or four hours after she placed it. Come to think of it, it, it popped up pretty quick after I turned on my Instacart app. All right, let's call support and see what they say. This is ridiculous. I'm going to be really annoyed if I now have to go back to return this order. So it's going to be twice. I, I still had to waste the time shopping for it and everything. Oh, this is going to be really annoying. Representative. Is your virtual assistant's not going to be able to help me on this one. Four days ago. She ordered this four days Thanks ago. Thanks for calling Instacart support line. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. Yes. How can I assist you today? Okay, so I, I got an Instacart order up here in Mammoth. California where I, I don't I normally I'm from Phoenix so um, I picked up this order and I was about to deliver it at the condo and the customer texted and said they placed this order four days ago and they don't they're not in town anymore so what should I do oh all right thank you very much for reaching out to me advising that they mentioned that you know they're not in town I'll be more than happy to assist you okay let me take a look and see what's happening Okay. All right, this should have been. Okay. Let me go ahead and now have it canceled for you. No worries. Just letting you know that you still get paid for this without the tip. Okay? Okay, thank you. All righty, uh, Damien? Yeah. All right, so I did went ahead and um, have it removed from you. Okay. So if you refresh the app, you should be able to receive new batches as we speak. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it looks like it reset. Beautiful. Anything else before you go? Uh, no, thank you very much. All right, thanks for making it into the car. Bye-bye. See ya. So, I got the $15 base pay. I'm glad I didn't take it when it was 17. I only got seven. So I got $15, and I got three bags of groceries. I got some strawberries, some raspberries. They didn't say anything about go take it back to the... I don't think they have a mechanism for taking it back to the store, I guess. That was hilarious. All right. <laughs>